Hello and welcome to Nashville Super Speedway. Fun trek. It's uh, Be Open today. It's inspired by uh, Gavin's video to do uh, some Be Open. I don't even think I realized they were uh, that uh, they were at this track this week. I feel like uh, I saw Nashville uh, Fairgrounds on the Be Fixed and just assumed when I glanced over and saw Nashville on uh, Be Open that they were at the same track. So I'm glad I, uh, I saw that they're actually here, because uh, it fits more of uh, what I'm into <laughs> uh, at this quote-unquote super speedway here. <laughs> um, I'm much better at the mile-and-a-half type stuff. So, uh, yeah, should be, uh, should be some fun. Got myself my... Uh... Ooh, slidey. I got my uh, free setup from uh, OSR. Uh, it's very loose, as uh, <laughs> that corner made very clear. Uh, so, I'm keeping some focus. Oh my goodness, this might be too slidey. Holy cow, I think the track temperature might have gone up from. Uh, or done something since uh, practice, because it was loose before, but now it's like, whoa, loose. <laughs> That's uh, interesting, so. Gonna have to keep it under me. But I think it's really gonna help me in the long run. Um, having that uh, loose off the start kind of feeling. Because I'd much rather it be loose later than. Holy cow, alright, well, this is completely different feeling than uh, practice. Wow, alright, well, that's terrible qualifying, but. Uh, not too concerned about that anyway, it's a long race. So I'm definitely going to have to take it easy. Early on. Got my tape up to 100, so... Um, not going to be able to hang out here on the track for too long. I think I'm going to go around one more time. And then practice pit entry, because uh, it's pretty tough here at Nashville. Super Speedway. It's pretty tricky at other Nashville, too. Nashville Fairgrounds. You see plenty of people going headfirst into that uh, barrier at the fairgrounds. So, Nashville's tough on, on guys on pit entry, <laughs> it would seem. But uh, especially with this loose setup I've got, don't want to be sliding into, uh, into pit lane. Slow it down real good, get it on the apron. Probably being uh, extra conservative, but uh, rather do that than spin. And then uh, get it down to 45. All right. As long as I can get on here cleanly, I think I'm prepared enough. And of course, I did some extra practice of uh, getting onto pit lane as well um, when I was doing regular practice. So get to chat back on. Get to fix the volumes. I've been trying to mess with this a little bit. Get to volumes a little better. Might be a little too loud. But uh, all right, but all I got, go. got a chatty bunch today, so um, might have to mute it yeah, at some point. Just uh, so I can talk a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see, just a couple things. Seven's probably fine. I do want to hear my tires pretty good. Um, turn that down a little bit more. Spotter was kind of quiet. There we go. That's fine for now. That's uh, not the greatest qualifying. What do we got for like track temps? That's on the screen, right? Yeah, 107. Okay. I didn't check during practice. But, uh, we got some fast people in here for sure. We're on the number nine. And uh, of course, big field 28. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a big field because. Uh, not too many people were signed up. In fact, I think this is actually a single split, so um, might be interesting. We might get some cautions and stuff if uh, the guys lower down are having some trouble. You're going to have to watch out for that. And in that case, we wouldn't have to worry about that tricky pit entry. But we're definitely going to take it easy early on, so I don't loop it. What did uh, that little run give us? Yeah, see, even that little qualifying run... Kind of burned off the uh, rears. Let me make sure I remember to do this too. Got it at 65. In fact, let's just 
do this make sure I have it where I want it. Yep, 65. Actually went down to 14 to 1 instead of 16 to 1 because it seems the rears are uh, burning off faster. And um, hoping that'll help me catch some of the slides a little bit better. And uh, it's a little less necessary to have the 16 to 1 if the rears are the ones uh, paying the price anyway. So. Uh, I think we're ready. A little nervous about this uh, loose vehicle, but uh, if I can keep it under me, I think we should be good for the longer runs. If we get them. Hopefully we get them. Let's see what a... Uh, I actually might put my brake bias a little bit more, because it's already pretty loose. So I don't think I have to worry too much about that. Everything else I'm pretty happy with, I believe. We got guys with like 30.4s, which is pretty wild. My uh, all-time best is a 30.7. wasn't the longest practice session, but uh, that was about as good as I could get. So if I were able, if I were able to pull that off, I would have been about you know seventh, eighth, kind of around there. So uh, that would have been closer match to about my car number. I don't know what they're talking about. But uh, it seems like we got a group of friends in here or something, talking to each other. Guys know each other, so lively, fun chat. Hopefully, everyone's friendly and patient in the race. We'll see, though. But uh, I'm ready to go. Should probably be one to green. Track this big. Get up onto the track. Well, some guys probably uh, choose to go down there. I remember when this uh, track first got released, there were there was a little bit of trouble getting it sorted out off the start before the green because you know some guys were taking the low line and like, some guys up top are like, wait, where do I need to be? I don't know. <laughs> it seemed like there was some. Strange things going on. Good luck, everyone. But, uh, second gear start, that sounds good to me. I adjust my volume just a tiny bit. Hopefully, that's good. Get ready, going green. And we're about ready to go green. Hey, Jacob, do you see me behind me? Okay, carry it on. Time to do your job. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, if you see me blink, let him know. We are a go. Alright, I got. Hey, were you running a race series a few months ago? Or clear? Yeah, I run an A series. And I, I think me and you was in a, a league together. I'm taking that higher line. Series. Probably gonna take some uh, higher lines yeah, early on. Now, to just to be uh I think it'll be easier on the yeah, looseness. Loose vehicle. Ooh, speaking speaking loose, that ten's pretty loose up there. Ooh, got a guy in the wall. Better watch out for that too. I don't quite understand how guys can like. I guess they must have an easier way to talk on the mic than me. I should probably consider that. I was gonna say I don't understand how guys like keep the their mics queued up while driving, but I guess they probably have an easier way to do it than me because I kind of have to like stretch my thumb over to the button to start talking, and I'm like, how am I gonna drive while doing that? <laughs> but I guess they probably. Uh oh. Have an easy way to do it. Don't come up the track. Oh my god, where'd he go? Okay. <laughs> I was afraid he was going to overcorrect and come up and kill me. Not sure what that was. Sorry, I was just saying, it's not your feet, it's your ding. Maybe this affects the car inside. Yeah, I don't know how to fix the car on the right side. The hard wire. Guy on the low side. Yeah, are you on the right Are you on the right side? Mm hmm. No, sir, I'm holding up the Ethernet. Ooh, bumpy up here. Shortest cable you can get that'll get the job done. That's the best way to do it. It sounds like he's really close to me. It's scaring me a little. Okay, I didn't know that. This is where I want to be running anyway, so I'm not too worried about him being on my inside. He's trying to be really smooth. At least doubling his thing. 
cable that I got from Looks like we're clear. Eight foot, nine foot. All right. I'll just let the uh, the car come to us a little bit. Not overdrive it. Damn it. Thirteenth place. Creep down a little lower on the track. I do think that's the faster way around. So once I'm feeling a little more comfortable, I think I'll uh, shift down a little bit. Not literally, not like third gear, but you know, <laughs> move down the track. I agree. Just hit the mute button if you don't want to hear me. But I'm on call. Right, so we should see a little bit more green on our session last lap, maybe, or you know, more even laps going forward as I uh, feel more comfortable with it. That's about a tenth faster through that corner. Water temperature, it's telling me, is creeping up. That's interesting. I was actually getting that, uh, you know, that was a little bit of a four tire slide. Um, you want lower. I noticed oh, damn. Okay. that the, uh, you know, the water temp in practice was kind of going up, so I did uh, put it, the tape down a touch. That's bad, it? Well, it looks like that's I might need to go terrible. a little bit more. If you want to be on 33 or 53, that's not terrible. It shouldn't cause issues you're having. Yeah, cool. I, don't, I don't know what else to do, man. Is there anything in my settings I can do? Missed what he's uh, what they're talking about in the chat. I'm not sure if I can do Thought maybe they were also uh, talking I about I the think tape. I got all. Maybe not though. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, my adjustments. What we got here? Someone get tight. Okay, I'm trying to shut you up. Okay, they look like they're falling back a little bit. Once I get a little bit room, I'll uh, prepare for that setup change. Okay, so what we got? Pit stop adjustments, and then I'll set that back to about 62. Sure. Probably not even necessary, but uh, I just don't even want to mess with all that. I don't want to have to worry about it. And uh, the tenth of a tenth of a tenth of a second that I'm gaining from having that little bit more tape is probably not worth it. Thank you, sir. Smart people would say thousandths or ten thousandths of a second, but I say tenth of a tenth of a tenth. <laughs> Whatever that means. Jeremy, you flashing pretty bad, man. I don't know if it's my... We're green, though. So even though this is a single split, guys are behaving. Seems like uh, no matter what what you do, or, uh, if you're in Nashville Super Speedway, things go uh, pretty green. We had that one guy that looked like he tapped uh, the back of another guy early on, and I thought he was going to overcorrect and kill me. <laughs> so there was that little bit of interest, but uh, that didn't materialize into anything. We've been moving forward, which feels great. Like I said, I think this is going to be a good long run car. So if this can continue to be green, I'm very happy with that. That guy's getting loose, that yellow car up there. Still just going about like 70% maybe right now. Not necessarily even trying to get much speed out of it. Because it's still quite loose. And uh, according to how the tires were wearing, it's probably only going to get more loose. It was looking like. So, I'm happy with how the car is. Oh, they're in the wall. So they're having some trouble. Oops, hit the apron. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm uh, glad I moved it to 14 to 1 steering ratio because it was feeling kind of floaty. Otherwise, when I was at 16 to 1, so it does feel like I've got a little bit more uh, control over what's going on. 
So 26 is coming back to us after his little bit of struggles. The setup's uh, a bit tough to drive, but I, I am liking it. It's uh, It feels like you don't really even have to push to kind of get some speed out of it. Because uh, with how naturally loose it is, you can just be easy on the throttle and it'll uh, make it through the corners pretty well. I know in uh, Gavin's race, it's uh, it got real tight on him. So I'd like, uh, it'd be great if I could avoid that fate. There's just nothing you can do when a car's, a race car's too tight. You know, if it's loose, you can maybe try to drive through it and it could be a challenge, but um, you can still kind of do something with it. Whereas if the car's tight, like, you just gotta go slower. <laughs> That's kind of just how it feels. Ooh, this guy's scaring me though. Where is he? In my blind spot. Oh my god, what's he doing? Just got We're just gonna take the high line, I guess. He's like in my blind spot doing weird things, and that's scary. I'm gonna run here and maybe hopefully get past him. Go ahead, man. Clear. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, so he lets us go. That's cool. He was uh, having some trouble controlling it. Ooh. I got that wall now. Super loose. Yeah. He's having some problems, but uh, he's doing well. 26 car and 12th right now. So if he hangs on to it, he's having a great run. We're pretty far back uh, from the lead, guys. Not sure how uh, much we're going to catch him, if at all. But, uh, you know. I'm not uh, driving too hard right now, so I can't really expect to be up there with the lead pack, because they're probably uh, going hard. <laughs> Thank you, 24. Just be consistent, see uh, if it can bring us to them eventually. But if not, I mean, we're in 11th as the 9 car, so. Not bad. You can like kind of turn it, get it turning with uh, the throttle. So you can almost, if you're starting to feel a little tight in center, just kind of kick the throttle a little bit. Kind of turns it to the left. Just kind of experimenting with that in uh, practice. Like, yeah, kind of like do like that thing, and then suddenly it's making it through the corner. It's probably that's just an example. I don't know if it was even tight that time, but that's kind of what I uh, found I could do in certain cases. Not sure if that's a thing that makes sense or that people actually do, but. Uh, <laughs> kind of made sense to me. I don't know. Just trying new things. Always trying new things to see how well they work and uh, if they can help me improve. Yeah, kind of like that. See, it kind of looked like it wasn't turning and then you kick a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's better if I just keep a little bit of throttle in it so it's less of a kick and more just like it's keeping it smooth. Lap car. I'm watching the lap car and not paying attention. Um, my corner. Because, oh my, they're struggling. These uh, B cars can be a handful, even on straightaways sometimes. Depending on how you have it set up. Like Sometimes, like the fixed series, even, like you'll be going on a straight and it feels like you're weaving. <laughs> kind of like what I was talking about before, it felt like it was floaty. When I had it 16 to 1, Jason, kind of uh, fixed it a little bit. Okay, sure I now, it kind of fixed it a little bit by lowering the steering ratio. You, but uh, it wasn't an unfamiliar feeling You're in these cars, that's for sure. I think I gotta focus more on keeping down low like that. You, well, that kind of wasn't a great runoff, so. I don't know. Uh, you're good. I'm just trying to be uh, smooth. Talking, the race. Looks like we might end up getting those green flag stops, so gonna have to be ready for that. Seems like you're even down now. Checking in. Yeah, it's a it's a very tough that. entry, and uh, it's a single split. So I think I'm gonna try to go long, because on top of that, you know maybe cautions coming up from tra guys trying to enter the pits. 
Um, I feel like I have a good car in a long run, so I think it's uh, my setup and the circumstances call for staying out a little longer. So, we'll see. Kind of catching up to this tin, maybe. Haven't really been paying attention to what the gap looks like there, but I think we might be uh, slowly reeling them in. We have people pitting already. That might be a guy that just uh, hit the wall and got damage or something. Not sure. Certainly way too early though, I think. So I don't think they uh, had that in their initial plans. They're going to be faster than us now though, so we're going to have to watch out. Blinking too. Has any outside? What are we doing, man? It's not even by the wall. <laughs> Alright. Give him all the room he needs. To enter low now, so I can run my corner. It's like a whole second lost from all that. all that green. So if we were catching that 10, we're going to have to start doing it again. 1.9, we'll uh, keep that in mind now. And, uh, this lap guy, blinking the lap guy, is going to go up and try to pass him, so maybe we'll slow down him a little bit now. Window is now open. We are not going to go through said window quite yet. Okay, Colton, there's a car right in the pits. Heads up. Thanks, driver. Sounds like we got more guys in there, though. That's very interesting. I'm curious by how many people are heading in there already. Is this a multi stop race? Like, is that uh, a real strategy? I wouldn't think so. Your blanket's pretty bad, sir. Sure is. What do you want? What do you do? Yeah, that felt pretty good. <laughs> Poor number 10's getting swarmed by lap cars. Underneath you, so that's. Hmm, yeah. That's about how nervous I was when he was coming up. You're blinking, man. So it looks like it might have evened out. Um, in terms of us being caught behind uh, around the left guy. Now that other guy as well. Four tire slide. Guess I gotta take it easier. That guy almost hit the wall. I think he had to lift off a lot in order to prevent himself from doing it. Uh oh, you do. Seriously? What we got? Got Rex? Contact? Yeah, that's good luck. Still just keeping it smooth. Still happy with where I am. Looks like the tin's actually getting away from us. That's fine. Oh, we got irating elitism. His number proves everything. <laughs>
Yeah, I think uh, I think the problem here is with the driver, because some laps I'm like up two tenths, and on the other laps I kind of miss the mark. So I think I'm just uh, not quite consistent. That's fine. Just gotta try to be a little bit more consistent. Think about what I'm doing. room for improvement. I think I'm eyeing uh, pitting somewhere in the 50s if we uh, don't have a caution by then. But that could change depending on the circumstances, what I'm hearing out here, how many uh, other people are pitting. But as of right now, that's kind of the strategy in my head. Only because I'm afraid of the yellow flag. So right now we're not even halfway through. I'll be underneath the on the inside eight. Why? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> he's got tires, dude. He put it on line 20. That was funny. I'll be on your inside, dude. Why? <sighs> I like laughing at uh, voice chat. <laughs> it can be pretty funny. It's good in it's good in race entertainment sometimes. The thoughts and opinions of general public chat do not express the viewpoints of Colton Tyndall or any of its affiliates. Let me throw that. Uh, Disclaimer out there. <laughs> not uh, not too much going around, going around, uh, going on around us. I said in the English language. Kind of just cruising. Got some space around us. I'm just uh, messing up my lines a little bit. You know the usual. Ten's a bit faster than us. Eighteen's been kind of holding the same ground, maybe catching a tiny bit, but nothing significant. Not at the moment. I, think I need to be turning in a little later, maybe. Yeah, I think I might be entering a little shallow. We'll see. We'll try it a couple times. A little bit later, we'll turn in. Yeah, it's looking like I need to turn in later. I think that'll help us. Come up here. Pretty good. A little loose there. But we good. Yeah, let's hit these consistent laps. Look, can't get more consistent than that. 0, 0.00. Be consistent. Exhibit A. The captain Cook up ahead is now two point four seconds. Oh, bad lap. I got loose out of the exit that time. Oh boy. There's that lack of consistency. times. Yeah. I don't think he's all that interested in what he's saying. But he keeps telling him. Gets the new news. Okay, well I was going to let that guy go low and then he hit the wall. Keep 
keeping an eye on. We're a little early, so we can uh, get ahead of us. We can take our normal line. Ooh, it's loose. We're in the top ten, so we got pit. Doing a little bit of a short pit, looks like a little bit before halfway. But like I said, I think I want to stay out a little longer. Twenty-seven, you are blinking horribly. Yeah, he knows, or uh, doesn't have voice jet on, or doesn't care. One of those options, maybe a couple of them. check in a moment what are how far are we off of our best time so we're about a second off of our best time that's not great not all that bad mm, a bit messy up here lots of cars around last lap back up We've gained some time behind us did a guy pit or something? I'm not sure. Guy up there is making me nervous. Looks like he was getting near the wall. He's cutting in front of us. <laughs> Interesting. Ugh. Thinky guy. I try not to let it uh, ruin my pace. guy that doesn't like to get up <laughs> near the wall on the straightaway. It's like uh, some of those console games where the AI don't like to go up by the wall. I ended up actually getting a little bit tight. Both kind of tight and loose. <laughs> um... The tape ended up being a non-factor, so I'm going to put that back. Down Didn't actually end up hearing about it too much at all. So. Uh, you might have wanted to say I'm hitting or something there. Oop. There. Now I can feel comfortable. What a big setup change. Fine-tuning it to perfection is what I'm doing here. A master chef perfecting his crap. What am I talking about? I didn't even make the setup. I'm gonna set this uh, back down to there for now. Get a little bit more turn in. Not hugely necessary, but could help. Oh my. Oh, still loose though. I'm gonna think about pitting soonish. Because it looks like a lot of guys are coming in. Uh, we haven't had a caution yet from guys spinning looks like a lot of guys even in the back have already pitted so have already pit not pitted I don't think that's the right way to say it um so they haven't spun it enough to cause a caution so might be coming in soon okay Maybe it's pitting now. I think it might be time. Lap 50. Pitting in here. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. We good? Oh, I cut it close. I think that was a good entry, though. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Get back in pit. Okay. Whew, that was sketchy. But we did it.
Why did I do that? You know, I had a stupid moment just then. I was like, you know, maybe that's not enough fuel to make it to the end. I better add a tiny bit more. And then I didn't think about the fact it would add five seconds to my pit stop. <sighs> I thought maybe they would just start putting a little bit more in. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> These are the moments you wish weren't caught on tape. But whatever. Five seconds. I don't have to worry about that fuel, so. Now I've got to remember it's going to be really loose. Off the start here. I didn't actually hit the wall, that was your imagination. We got good tires, but their tires aren't so bad right now either, so. Yeah, they're, they're uh, going to go ahead and go by. That probably has a lot to do with the fact that I did that stupid thing during the pit stop. The fact that we're here, in this position. Now that's the kind of thing people newer to doing green flag pit stops do. Like me. So. Oh well. Barking about the water temperature again. But it seems like that goes down as our pace goes down. Or at least it did seem that way at the start. You're blinking 27, bad. He knows. Outside. Or doesn't care. Clear outside. Or doesn't have chat on. We've been over this. <laughs> so we're 13th. We didn't lose all that much, position wise. Matt, Jesus. Didn't know he was going to go that soft into the corner. Not running the wall. I don't know why you're making me run the low line on the straightaway. Maybe it's just me. Maybe these. <laughs> Maybe the uh, track's not as wide as I think it is. That much worse pace than uh, these leaders seem like. We should be on better tires though, so we should actually have better pace. But uh, we're gaining on the guy behind us on the same lap. We got four seconds to the guy in front of us, so if we didn't make that pit stop mistake, we would actually still be ahead of them. But uh, we are gaining on them. Just have to re uh, regain that back. I don't know why I didn't trust my crew chief there and just accepted that they put the right amount of fuel in it. I see. I looked at it and it said estimated lap fi laps 50 or so, and I'm like, that's uh, close. I was maybe just a touch more. And I didn't think about how much extra time it would take to actually just put a tiny bit more in there. Now that was the illogical, flawed thought process that happened. <laughs> Just a splash of gas after the pit stop, please. Please wait until after the pit stop to put a little more in. Go get the gas can again and bring it back. It'll be real quick, don't worry about it. So we're in lucky dog position at the moment, if there is a caution. So that's something. I feel like if we did get a caution for green flag pit stops though, it's not likely we're going to get one now. 
Seems like everyone's racing very well. In terms of uh, keeping it clean and not running into people. Got some movement ahead. It's the guy we're catching a couple spots up. Looks like they're getting around a slower lap car, maybe? Yeah, the 21. Trying to do this wider entry. I think it's helping me. We'll check uh, what my tires were during the last run in a moment. Just want to get through this mess for a second first. Okay, what did we have? 48.40. Wow, that's, that's some worn tires. This place uh, chews them up pretty good, I guess. Uh-oh, that's a loose moment. We're good. We got out of it, though, without losing too much time. So we want to hurry up and grab that lucky dog if we can. And by hurry up, I mean run the same pace I have been and just hope it happens fast. He might try to hold on to it a little harder than he might otherwise, because he wants the lucky dog as well. We'll see. We have been catching from pretty far back, so. mess here. What's going on? Yeah, they bring you back in every time, won't they, uh, Brandon? The next car is cool. Lots of lap cars all in the same place. Oh, Lord, this guy's on the apron. That guy's in the wall. Oh, God. That's not what I like to see. <laughs> All right, somehow I think I was able to prevent losing a bunch of time while stuck behind that, but uh, that's a good reminder that we could, in fact, get a caution. Guys hitting the apron, hitting the wall. Things can happen. So, I'm glad we're in that lucky dog position still. Hopefully we'll uh, keep it for another minute. Looks like we have a uh, nice little period of time we're going to have it. Because uh, the next lap car up is a good 6.6 .6 seconds. And uh, we just have to worry about the guys on the same lap as us one lap down. I'm hitting this time. You have someone going out super long? Is that what that is? Says, he, says he's pitting now? We actually got a lead lab car coming up on us, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. Let them buy when they get close. Front is 
of hitting. He's catching us up, but not super fast, so I'm gonna have to pay close attention to when we actually let him by, or when we need to. So I don't lose too much time, but also don't cost him much time either. So we did have someone pit that was on our lap. I saw they might have been going long, so we actually are going to gain a position once we hit the line here. Fourteen that was actually ahead of us, so he's gonna have to go all the way around the track to try to catch us again. So I think we're okay. I'm not sure if they're gonna get around to us. It's a lot of time to make up. Once we get by some of these lap cars, if they are coming back to us, maybe we can check and see where the next car for us to pass is, if they're anywhere near. We're going out bad. Alright. Laps are winding down. Not too many more to go. Not sure these uh, lap cars, I think that 20 might be actually going. Now they're coming closer to us. Okay, He makes it easy, that's cool. So we're back where we were before, just uh, we lost about 5 seconds, so we would yeah, be about 3.7 behind 10th place. Instead we're about 8 seconds, but we're in the same spot, so thankfully, positional wise, that didn't affect us. Uh, see if, uh, and I, I'm guessing about 5 seconds is how much we lost, could have been more. But Seems about right. 20 in front of us, he's texting and driving. <laughs> we need to pit again. Depends if you were one of the guys that pit on lap 20, I guess. They told me I couldn't have a bed. We're fine, though. Jeremy, you're blanking again. Bad. That's it. He's not going to do anything about it, I swear. I promise you. If he didn't already. still on edge. I don't think it's ever been not on edge. I've had to be really careful on my throttle this whole race. Not undrivable though. Is this a 16 catching us, I think? Yeah, you can say hi, great, because you're blinking every second. I think we're keeping ahead of them. Hard to 
sec. So I guess everyone had a very successful pit cycle because we ended up in the same spot. Everyone ahead of us, at least. No one had any uh, major mistakes that brought us to them. And uh, our mistake didn't even seem to affect us since it was uh, small enough. Yes, sir. I think it's probably because I'm down to go off his bad internet. Sounds like uh, the gap ahead, according to my crew chief, is very uh, stable. It's about eight and a half staying there. So I wonder where we still in lucky dog position. I'm gonna check on the straightaway here, just in case we get a late race uh, caution. See what's for us. I know they're pretty close. Yeah, they're pretty close to the lap them, so it might not be for, for, for very long. Man, it'd be great to have a <laughs> 21, asking for a caution. Oh, there's that. I thought he was going to wreck a call there for a minute. Kidding though, that uh, 27 sure is blinking bad. I just feel like you know, you tell them and they don't even respond. They don't get off the track or anything. They're just you don't need to keep saying it. They know or don't know and can't know. They're having just some trouble controlling it too. It looks like. to have to have it that bad like if you got someone in the house downloading maybe downloading something big or you're hanging out on your laptop at the McDonald's or something on the free Wi-Fi Ten. Yep. So we're no longer in lucky dog position, but I'm not so sure we're gonna crush him anyway. So to maintain our position here, we would have to take the wave around, right? This late in the race, I think that's kind of the obvious thing. Sixteen seemed kind of just uh, hanging out behind us. I don't know if he's actually, you know, maybe faster, but being polite and uh, not trying to get around us because he's had a rough race or something. I'm not sure, or he just has very equal speed to us. But I appreciate him not forcing the issue. Looks like he is in a race with the guy behind him, so. If he uh, ends up feeling really needed to try to come up on me, I'm cool with that because I'm not racing anyone at the moment. So I'll have to keep that in mind if he uh, starts getting closer. Give him some room so he can maintain his position. It's all situational. Well, he had a bad corner there, though. Lost about uh, three tenths, four tenths. And uh, this thing's about over. Just got three laps to go. 
So we ran the whole race in 11th, and even after our uh, little pit brain laps, looks like we're still going to get it. I feel too bad about that on a free setup. And uh, with uh, lots of ooh, slidey, lots of uh, fast guys in here too. Guys and gals, lots of fast ones. Yeah, you change, I don't mean that turn. I want you out of your way. I gave you a whole lane on the inside, and I thought it maybe could give you more. It didn't look like it was. just got to bring it around one last time. It's all good. I just didn't know which lane you were in. All right, 0x. Yeah. Running for a pretty standard finishing position for a number nine guard. Yeah. I bet it all. Just outside the top. Two. All right. Average run, solid, nothing to feel bad about. Cool with me. And I got to do some open race. Some green flag running. Good stuff. Well, now I uh, just gotta find a nice parking spot. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. Oops. Sure, why not right here? All right, 11th of 28, one lap down. I think we we're gonna end up that way anyway, though. With uh, even with uh, with or without our pit mistake, that's all good. And a nice fun run at a check that's pretty fun to drive. So all positives. Let's uh, see what happens. Thank you, buddy. Just back in. Three up a little bit. Robert, we'll go past you. I was watching. Four hits the wall. Twenty hits the wall. Yeah. I was doing that earlier. <laughs> Nineteen gets hit yeah. by the twenty-four. Oh, that's that's what we saw. I remember seeing that. Okay. I thought he was gonna overcorrect and come up and kill me. Twenty hits the wall. That was a pretty solid hit. 13. I think they finished right behind us, didn't they? Yes. Remember seeing that name behind me? Oh my. Oh my. Whoa. Goodbye, 20. Where did you go? Yikes. That could have been a caution right there. How safe was his re entry? Mowing the lawn. Um. Well, he we kind of came up into the a a apex, kind of where people enter, but uh, there must have been no one there, so yeah, he's fine. Clean track early on in the race, so stinks for him, but is he going back? <laughs> he's going back. This is part of his line. He's really cutting that apron <laughs> and the grass. Six in the wall. Five. Twenty-five might be letting it by after uh, kind of getting in the wall there. I will say that twenty recovered really well for going uh, in the grass a couple times. Like he kept going and he finished uh, where he was supposed to. Nice recovery. I don't mean to be uh, teasing him or anything about it. Just. Uh, Lighthearted fun. Gonna get a lot of guys hitting the wall, so I might have to scoot past some of these. Ooh, weird lighting glitch for a second. Get some more wall hits. 26 was running pretty good for a while up there. Where did he end up? Oh no, he must have had some troubles. You might see that later, or maybe it might have been a, a speeding on pit road issue or something. These are all gonna just be wall hits, probably. Five out of sorts, probably hit the wall. Uh oh, here's one of those early pit takers, and they look like they had some trouble. It's very, very tough. You gotta slow down a whole bunch, even more than you think, because if you get on this apron while going too fast, you get sideways like that. It's very tough. I did that exact thing while practicing my pit stops. 
looked very, very similar to that. So, oh yeah, that was that 26 too. That might have been uh, how he ended up, where he ended up. But I'm, gl I'm glad I uh, practiced and put an emphasis on the pit entry. Pit entry. <laughs> Wondering what happened there. Maybe looking at the uh, pit display or something. But uh, glad I practiced that uh, enough to prevent that from happening to myself. Oh, three wide. It's tightening up. Oh my. That could have been bad. Still could be bad. We're good. They figured it out. Watch to see here. I'm surprised we're not getting that 27 showing up from the blinking. Usually the incidents like to show the uh, blinking guys a lot. I'm glad we are not having to look at it because we'd have to skip through a whole bunch of it through this 90 lap race. This, uh,. This scheme kind of looks like strawberry watermelon or something. That pink and green looks like a tasty piece of bubble gum. Very eye-catching. If you're in the stands, you'll know where they are at all times. Twenty is hitting the wall quite a few times. Oh, there's a guy right behind me. Oh, I remember that. He was coming up fast on us, and I was going to let him by low, and then he kind of hit the wall, so he didn't have the run anymore. I think I take the high side later or something, though. I think it's like the next corner. Let him by. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Quit yelling at me, game. Slash simulation. Slash lifestyle. I didn't do anything for the last time. Quit picking on me. Guys entering the track. This is kind of a uh, tumultuous. Tumultuous? I should, I should try to keep my words down to like two syllables. Or else I'm going to make a mistake <laughs> when I try to say them. But, uh,. Bit of a difficult time on the track as the guys are going faster than the slower guys. Tumultuous. Tumultuous. Why can't I say that? I think I need a drink of water. That probably doesn't help. Because I've been talking for an hour or so at this point. <laughs> My mouth is dry. Tumultuous. Ouch. That was... <laughs> that was a tumultuous hit. <laughs> Still can't say it. I'm gonna stop. I'm, I should have stopped in, like five minutes ago for further embarrassing myself. Uh, 19 and by 14. Go a little faster as we see. Single cars running on their own, probably not doing anything too interesting. Except hitting the wall. If you find that interesting. I like that 7 scheme. I kind of like a gray and white and green. It kind of works. I could see that being the kind of scheme like Corey LaJoy would drive in real life with that 7. I don't know. I kind of got that dark blue on the outline. I don't know. I, I just like it. I like that. I, don't, I, I feel like you don't see that color combination very much, but it kind of works. Well, it's... Right. Ooh. We're coming. We're kind of coming up on the end of this thing. We're in lap 74 at this point. Ooh, what happened there? They got some damage. I feel like we came in a little late there. There might have been something happening. I think the 20 got on the wall. Maybe the strawberry watermelon car. Oh my, yeah, the 20 went off. It was like let off super hard because they were gonna plow the wall. I feel like that number two. That's been behind everything, all the most scary things on the track. <laughs> I still end up with her top five, I think it was. Folgers, a classic NASCAR sponsor. Uh oh. Going in the grass there. 
Still finished ahead of us though. One bad lap's not gonna make up for uh, 89 other laps where they were a little bit faster than us. Is this anything? Nope. Just that Wood Brothers looking car hitting the wall. Lots of green in this race, I've noticed. The uh, day has passed quite a bit here, so it's getting a little darker out, but hey, that's it. So, uh, just a pretty average race. Uh, kind of finished around where we were supposed to, just outside of the top 10. Got ourselves a 0x, it was a clean race. Fully green, because it's Nashville Super Speedway. So, yeah, just pretty solid run. Not too much else to say about it. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later.